shoplifting have been on the rise for the past years. That's because some state made it a misdemeanor if the theft is under a certain amount. For example, in the state of California, under Proposition 47, felony theft offenses are classified as misdemeanors. Property stolen at $950 or less is considered petty theft. If convicted, the penalty may be six months in a county jail, a fine of not more than $1,000, or both a fine and imprisonment. I'm not sure what these lawmakers had in mind when they passed those laws. Maybe they didn't want to overload the justice system so they could focus more on the hardcore criminals, or maybe they took pity on thieves and don't think they deserve prison time. Whatever the reason, people have started taking advantage of these laws and started organizing in large groups to raid stores, causing retailers to shut down, which affects the workers who lose their jobs and the locals that rely on them to get groceries and medicine are now forced to venture out of town to find other locations. In less than a month, three Bay Area Target retail stores are set to close. Target, located on Century Boulevard in Pittsburgh, Broadway and 27th in Oakland, and the one located on Folsom in San Francisco, gone effective October 21st. I think it is a disappointment, especially because I moved around the area to be close to shopping centers and uh, things like Target and, and get my groceries. Target is blaming organized retail theft for their closures, saying in part, we cannot continue operating these stores because theft and organized retail crime are threatening the safety of our team and guests and contributing to unsustainable business performance. I see them when they are in the front and they take it, they are taking things out of their bags. Yeah. yeah. How often do you see that here? Uh, I have seen it uh, at least three times and I don't come here that often. So I know there is, it's bad, it's bad around here. Yeah. Looks like some states are making changes. Before all stores are forced to shut down or start placing every item behind lock and key, a career shoplifter by the name of Ernestia Atmore oh has been sentenced to 30 years in prison for stealing $20,000 worth of designer glasses. Now you see now, you done f***ed up, you know that, don't you? This video of career shoplifter Ernestia Atmore at work using a cooler to scoop up designer sunglasses which she has no plans to pay for. She committed one of the most brazen thefts that I've ever heard of. She went into the sunglass hut at International Plaza and she had a soft-sided cooler and she just scooped her arm and put about $20,000 worth of sunglasses into that cooler. And when they said, the employee said, what are you doing? She said, I have a taser. Well, a taser, as you know, is a weapon. She was busted, and in her car, they found some of the stolen goods, which was collected in evidence bags. Ernisha Atmore. Atmore has been in and out of prison for a string of theft convictions, but as a repeat offender, she is now facing stiffer penalties and decades in prison. Prosecutors offered her a three-year deal. She rejected it. Instead, a jury convicted her, and she was sentenced to 30 years in prison. That's because the state of Florida has taken a very tough stance on retail theft. But before she was sent away, she had two more theft cases to settle, including this one. The defendant entered the Zales at the Brandon Town Center Mall, tried on a ring that it had a value of $8,749.99, placed the ring on her left finger and proceeded towards the exit. And while they tacked on more years behind bars, Admore couldn't resist smiling for the camera. Her next stop, prison. She won't be free again until she's 60 years old. Oh shit. Now I know it sounds crazy, but she had the opportunity to take a three year deal. Keep in mind, she's a repeat offender but she rejected it. She probably thought she was going to get off easy like she has so many times before with a slap on the wrist. Wrong, wrong. I don't know if I should cheer or feel sorry for her. On one hand, when these businesses lose money, we all get affected, people get fired, prices go up, it becomes less safe to shop, 
on the other hand 30 years in prison for stealing is a lot i don't know if she has some mental health issues or just didn't care about life she was seen smiling after her sentencing to add insult to injury she had two more theft cases to settle so the judge added six more months to her 30 years she won't taste freedom again until she's nearly 60 years old just a sick world we're living in sick people